All right, folks, this is our new, uh, my new segment for Mondays. It's our weekend. Uh, I cracked myself. <laughs> the weekend rundown, our Twitter rundown. So. All the special for the weekend. We're going to get into the top of the dog. All right. Kind of a long intro, maybe a little too long. All right. I'll tighten it up a little bit as we go along, but obviously, my ex feed from the weekend. Got some good stuff coming for you. Hey, look. Had to make sure that we got in here and talked a little bit about some of this stuff. And this was a huge play, wasn't it? You know, this is the kind of stuff that you want to see. You weren't seeing this kind of stuff where he was letting it loose and, you know, running to get out of the pocket. And uh, good to see these guys kind of figure it out as far as getting it down the field. And, you know, JJ. His dad dad was right in front of me, man. And he was, he was, man, he was almost like, he wasn't in tears, but man, you could just tell the, the yeah. joy that he had. There. Hey, look, you know, for him to catch a long one like that, man. I think it was one of the longest catches in school. It was the longest, has, his longest catch at the Palace in history. Well, I've uh, obviously we got a bunch of them as well. I want to I want to wait for just a second on this one, but if we go back, uh, hey, did you catch this on there? Let's see. Uh, I want to kind of show this one uh, coming up. Wait a second. Um, so right after this, you see old. Had our buddy, uh, our boy BT, Brennan Thompson. He looks like he's headed to a poetry reading, you know, but he's running into a U team and, you know, got to, they were showing him some love. So shout out to BT, though. Um, and did you see this from Saquon yesterday? I did not. What the hell was that? He did a backwards hurdle. Look That's at those freaky, BT, man. That was crazy, wasn't it? That's freaky. Freakish. This one's obviously that good dude stuff. is. Re- <laughs> it's not supposed I to be. Like, uh, I love a bunch this of black bear thing. facts for us to get to the finish line here, fellas. So, first off, uh, Teddy, you versus a black bear. Who are you taking? <laughs> I've got a much better chance against a black bear than I do a catamount. But it is the smallest of the three species of bears in North America. <sighs> Being grizzly. Come on, cold. man. Have some confidence me, in yourself, Layman. Uh, yeah. Let me give you a few more facts to help you decide as okay. the kickoff to Ewing is a fair catch. The average uh, black bear weighs between 250 and 600 pounds. Uh, what? And That's a pretty wide variant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It depends on. It depends All right, on what uh, bear do, am I? They stand five to six feet. Now, those are the males. The females are 100 to 400 pounds. A little shorter, too. Mm. Is it strange that I think I'd be more scared of the female? Not at all. No. That's <laughs> I don't pretty think normal, so. really. Yeah. That's crazy. I, I ran up on a main from the twenty five. Think about it then. Okay. Did you run him off? Left or right? A pack nah, of man, bears. Anybody run a pack of bears? Just, no. Man, they were like they come on that they, they told us when we got there that mm. they would probably be coming around the park. You know, they had names and I was at a seven on seven challenge. If you see a really, where was your like pride of line? Um, second and ten. Somewhere in the off Mountain. over the left side. That's Martin. No, it was in Gatlinburg. Maybe along. Gatlinburg. Okay. Okay. Is it a pack of bears? Can you just call them a pack? They're a sleuth. A sleuth of bears. You say. This is great. And I actually got I mean, this from from Big Bird. No Twitter stream. That. No one's seen a pack of bears. Pretty, and pretty goes, good oh, stuff. Look at that sleuth of bears. That's a lie. Well, no one says Everybody that. says that it's a sleuth of bears. Never heard that my entire life. I don't believe you, Toby. Yeah. Third, third and. You 10. know what I notice about them? Those guys. Man, Why I just call never a pack seen of all animals the same thing? Why does every balance. animal have to have a let's, let's name? Let's not be ridiculous. That's boring. Black bears can live new up to 30 years, by the way. They had New Balance. They I beat them in sponsor uniform with New Balance. New Balance cleats, New Balance uniform, the whole nine. And I, as long as yeah. I've been doing football, I mean, I know yeah, New Balance cleats, <laughs> but man, I've never seen a team 
not a college team. Oh, mean? oh, you're talking about Maine. Yeah, yeah, Maine. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I had no idea. I didn't even. I don't think I noticed that during the game. Yeah. I didn't. Obviously, I didn't think about it. But so the next thing we got coming up here, obviously, the world's largest cocktail party was this weekend, and uh, Florida losing their fourth, fourth straight. Uh, oh, Bo, we got you on twice. <laughs> Are you with us there? Oh, man, maybe so. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah. I got you now. Yeah, you got us now. Yeah, we got you now. The other one was, uh, the other one wasn't working. So, world's largest cocktail party. Fourth straight year that Florida got beat. That's the first time that's happened since the end of the 70s and into the 80s. Um, it looked, honestly, like you were going to end up with a, uh, with a Gator win early on because Georgia, you know, they kind of seem like they play with their food a little bit. Now, obviously when Lagway got hurt, this was kind of weird on the feed. Now they got a weird little smile on his face. Almost like a serial killer is what the guy's saying uh, on the t- on Twitter, but you know, they hung in there for a while and it was, it was definitely an ugly win for, for Georgia, but it got a little uglier for Florida in the stands. You know, there's some weird shit going on up there. Look at this, man. There's a guy that gets the hair beaten off his head. Wait till you see this. Uh, wild stuff, man. Wild stuff. Yeah, first time that they've won is since 78-83. First four-game winning streak in the series for these guys. Now, look at this. You damn Gator fans. It's not enough that you got your ass whipped on the field. Wow. Check this out. This dude is hey, giving it. Putting them bees on him, bro. Dropping them. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Them fifth on them, bro. Hey, look. I mean, oh, God, literally, so look bad. at that. He knocked the hair off his head. Bro. Dropping them. <laughs> oh, bro. Hey, that looks like some UFC. UFC hammer yeah. I'm you telling you. You're going to learn today. Hey, hey, Mike. That's what that guy should have yeah. did over there at Ole Miss. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. Look, see, oh, no hair. Knocked it right off his head. He scalped him. Get 0% APR on select 2024 Sierra 50. And obviously, we go to next up would be, oh, yes, Ohio State, Penn State. Man. Penn State, once again, can't go get it done. What is going on with James Franklin? He's Georgia good. offense is their weakness. Carson Beck. Carson Beck may have played his way right out of the damn draft period. Oh, no doubt. Uh, the dude uh, looks like the first rounder. He didn't have to come back. About that, uh, he don't feel that. I don't think he feels that he's a first round. He feels like maybe third, you know. So Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, look at this. They're throwing the towel back and forth at each other. That was some funny shit. Um, it's just, it's so crazy, man. But they've beaten him, what, eight years in a row now? That's a lot, bro. That's unbelievable. And and then the, the crazy part is you got Franklin over there yelling at fans after the damn game for giving him shit about it. And it's a kid. You know, uh, you're going to be mad What's enough to talk. What's your name, he says. For the money he's making, man. Take Suck it money. up, Buttercup. You know what I mean? Yeah, take your money. Lock up, man. Come on, bro. It's not, you know. You can't take it out on the kid. He's a fan. How yeah. are you going to tell your kids – to not to respond to all the the naysayers and stuff that's going on, and you get you going back and forth for the kid, man. Facts. You're not setting a good example. Facts. You know, it's uh and, pretty wild, man. It's uh, to me, you're going to go back and forth. With, I mean, man, go back and forth with yourself on why you can't get it done, because this dude is now, what is it, uh, one in eleven against these guys, I believe. Yeah, one in eleven against Ohio State since he got there. He's, I believe, uh, it's going to show, yeah, 13 and 27 against ranked opponents at Penn State. Bro, come on, man. You got to do better than that. I mean, they just re-upped his ass last year, too. Bro, you know what would be funny? If they don't make the playoffs and they end up having to play Vanderbilt in a bowl game. (laughs) 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 I I would love to see that, bro. Okay, a warning message now, because now there's this a guy. disturbing trend that's cropping You know, it's the, the world's uh, very worrisome because they're trying to do it again. Biggest crybaby, Danny Cannell. Who gets in 
and who's left out in the college football playoff. In a season where we've seen more parity than ever before, we've seen teams fall well short of expectations that had, quote, loaded rosters with high expectations. Yeah, we've like Florida apart. State. We've seen Alabama. <laughs> we saw a very average Florida team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Georgia. We've seen it across college football. And yet, we see power rankings show up that still gives credit to those teams that I'll came into the season with high expectations and doesn't give teams that didn't the recognition they deserve. Power rankings are problematic because they pay, take into consideration past success. This is a new landscape of college football. There is He's not the biggest crybaby in the world. I can't even used to have tell you, man, supporting all the talent. As much as Danny Cannell whines, I can only imagine throughout the game. Like, his that wife, whenever they run out of his favorite more, cereal and shit. Uh, seven top 25 teams you know what it's got to be like for her? You have to start recognizing that what happens Wild. on the field matters more than Put ever. Put the D in douchebag. Thank you, Neil. I think like that's Indiana perfect. And trying to put <laughs> them down in the rankings, saying, oh, they haven't played anybody. They are 9-0, nine, and oh, nine games into the season, have not lost, and have won right. every game by to do it. To elevate those teams from the SEC, trying to get five He's or six, just crying away. trying to get what he blue does. bloods in and keep the new schools out. It's disturbing. Watch the narrative too, as they try to keep down the ACC and the Big Twelve. Saying those leagues aren't competitive. Miami was struggling with Duke, even though they didn't, and they won by three touchdowns or more. Oh, Watch the they narrative did. around Texas. They struggle with uh, Vanderbilt. No, oh, Vanderbilt's a really good team. Or Vanderbilt beats Alabama. It's a dangerous. We have had enough of that, dude. What a douche. No doubt. Yeah, All right. Dude, I'm coming in still water. I mean, still water. I mean, still water. So uh, it's been a, it's been a banner season out in still water, you know? A banner season. 27 touches for a <laughs> hey, Cam. This dude, he gave it to him the all day long. 270 total yards, three touchdowns. They couldn't touch the cat. I love I love the the Twitter feed though it was funny. Chris Paul hits a huge three to cut the lead to forty two. <laughs> I loved it. Part is they're wearing those stupid ass uniforms, man. What was that about? Mm. Oh Gundy, yeah, he's got he's, he's got everybody now. Even the they've got the worst defense in the country. Um, apparently they're they're giving up more than everybody on defense. That's what happens when you bring in a you know a Division three um, coordinator. Never coached in Division One. That's crazy, right? Wild stuff. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's unhappy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what they're like. Used he to. don't even have the energy to drive home, bro. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Got his name. Scadaboo, Scadaboo. He's a stud, man. Watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. A, there's a little video, and then of course, you know, they're showing up. He's about to not get to seven wins for the first time since his first season. Oh, wow. um, they're three oh, and five. Yeah. They got to win. They got to win out. So um, looks it looks tough for them. And I don't know. I don't know if they're going to win one at all. Who do who do they have left? It's a good question. Um, I know that they for sure have. They got to play Dion's team in the final game of the year on the road. Oh, um, so they got to go to see you. That's. That's, you know, you pretty much have to expect that you're going to get your ass whipped there. Yeah. 27 touches, 274 total, and he had three touchdowns. This dude is a uh, boss. It's cool like that. Get quickly. <laughs> Breaking a tackle. Now swerving away. First down. Look at this guy, man. He's a little bold. Scadaboo. Arizona's got Cam Scadaboo is almost impossible to bring down with one guy. Passing out of fourth and one. Scadaboo's wide open. They've got it. And much, much more. Good race. Scadaboo scores. Needed one. Got one out of Big 12 field now. Scadaboo over the top. You know, Oklahoma State was supposed to be kind of like that. Oh, yeah. They, they were supposed to win that. You know, they were just to win that. Scadaboo's got a big mm -hmm. hole up the middle. That's plenty of space. There was a guarantee once Texas and Oklahoma uh, left that they were going to win that thing, according to them. Oh, yeah. We had 22, 20 or 22 starters coming back. Something is, man, something is bad wrong. I yeah, I'll tell you what's wrong. He's been mediocre forever. They don't ever do it. They don't ever get it done. 
when they're supposed to, they'll they get chances all the time, and the dude just you know, he's got everybody fooled in Stillwater. He's always had everybody fooled in Stillwater. They force him. I can tell you that. No, he's got him contracted. Never quits. Never quits. But one is that Mike can't even pull off mediocre anymore. This is the good one. The next one, though, this we got one more little deal we're gonna go through here and uh, brought in our friend. He's he's not gonna show up on the screen, screen, but our guy, Tattoo Baker, is with. Us. You got a. You, do you have it up on the computer also? There, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're still getting it from. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I was out in my car and it started raining. So, um, I'm wondering if it isn't. It's still doing it. It was doing that on mics too. So, I'm just doing it in the room right now. Yeah, let me see if it's maybe. $88 million they got to buy him out with, and he's lost five games already. Ooh, it's yeah. not looking better for Lincoln. Um, bad stuff. Bad stuff. And, oh, and wow. man, they're, they're oh, giving wow. it to him, man. They are giving it to him. I mean, stroll him up, man. Stroll him up. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> and and they still be business. If you look at the USC, they were talking about long. Uh, and this is Tattoo Florida Baker's Rudy, thing, yeah. man. He's been doing this this year. I love it. It's hilarious. Uh, this is his Mickey Mouse uh, Lincoln. Yeah, we played far away the most difficult schedule that we've played in the three years that I've been here. I mean, I mean, obviously, defensively, I mean, no shit, right? I mean, like, look at it. Look at the numbers. Look at everything. I mean, that's 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 pretty easy to pick out. Like, we've improved a ton special teams-wise. I got to go find the best specialists in the country. We've returned it well, especially in the last couple of games. Um, I think <laughs> our ability to run the football um, has really improved. I think I think we're doing some really nice things up front. I think we've improved in a ton of areas. Um. I'm frustrated as everybody that hasn't translated into wins and losses, but it will. Um, you Look know, at it guy will. said to the right, man. We're going to fight you. <laughs> I haven't been doing it forever, but I've been doing it long enough to know if you got the right people in the building and you're continuing to make progress on the things that you know when over time. Yeah, that Fabio sitting right beside Those things him. will take hold. Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> like, I've told it's you guys this before. Out. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, weeks we got to say this. I, I understand. But, like, you go change, you know, five, six plays this season, and then everybody's like, oh, my God, they're freaking unbelievable. And the other 99.9% .9 of the plays that we've played would all be exactly the same. And so you got to... You still got to win at the end of the day, and it's about winning. And I trust me, I get that as good as anybody. But I also have to pay attention to the other 99.9% .9 too. I can't ignore that as well. And then within that, I see massive progress that will pay dividends for this program and will pay dividends soon. He's been telling us that that's been going to happen for a while now. Um, so that's a, a look back at my Twitter feed from yesterday. Shout out to Tattoo Baker. We couldn't keep him on. Uh, or he jumped out, I guess. I think Don't go follow that cat, man. I like that. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty good, man. I appreciated that. And, uh, thanks, guys.